guys this is chitur vamsi and i am a youtube content creator at project pro i make videos related to data science in this particular video we are going to see an exploratory data analytics of uber drivers data set first of all what does exploratory data analysis involve it basically involves using graphics and visualizations to explore and analyze a data set to do this project we are going to import necessary libraries which are pandas numpy cburn matplotlib.pyplot and warnings and i am filtering warnings and keeping it as ignore for there we need to read the data set into a pandas data frame after that let us print the top few rows of the data set so that we can understand what's happening here so we have start date end date category start stop miles and purpose as the columns in our data set so we need to see the summary statistics of the data in order to understand different things so i first of all i am printing the summary statistics of the numerical columns so we have miles as the numerical column in our data set and we see the summary statistics of this here so uh, it has a count of 1156 uh, 1, mean of 21.11 and a max of 12204.7 miles we can also see the summary statistics of the categorical columns which uh, goes like this so the start date have a count of 1156 out of which 1155 are unique the same goes uh, with end date which have 1155 count and a unique of 1154 and we have a two categories and uh, 177 unique start points and 188 unique end points and uh, 10 different purposes and we also see that we have 6th 28 2016 having the highest frequency of two both in start date and end date and business category is the top one with 1078 frequency and start place is carry which is having a frequency of 201 and stop place is also carry which is having a frequency of 203 in our data set and the top purpose is meeting which the people are traveling so when we see the shape of the data set we have 1156 with the seven different columns also let us see the count of missing values in each column we see that there's no uh, null values in start date but we have null values in end date which is one and category start stop and uh, stop have one null values and also purpose have more null values which is 503 uh, let us go forward and see if there are any duplicate rows in our data set so when i check out that i have came up with this particular row which is duplicated it means that that same row is uh, visible in the data set twice so i am going to drop the duplicate rows from uh, from my data set and, and i am setting in place equals to true so that it will uh, work out on this original data set original data frame further i am also checking if the start date and end date is equal it is just logical that both cannot be equal because if someone is traveling it should, he should travel for some time so after that i am going to see that the start date and end date are equal for these four indices and i am going to drop them from my data frame after doing all this I am going to rename my columns to this names until now that start date and end date are of not date time type so now I am converting them to date time type with uh, errors given as coerce which means that it will convert uh, which are not able to be parsed into NAT which means it represents missing values in date time type after that i am printing again the information of the data frame i can see that uh, this start date and end date are now date time 64 type 
and uh, let us again print the few rows of the data frame so, so we have start date end date category start stop miles and purpose and yeah everything is good to go so let's start visualizing the data so uh, let us create a bar plot of the number of trips per category and when i did that i got 1073 which are of business category and very few of personal category which are 77 out of the total categories or total uh, number of trips which are 1150 we can also see the percentage wise division of the category we see that 93.3 percent of the trips are of business category only 6.7 percent of the trips are of personal category we can also see the same with respect to bar chart so we see that the most of the trips are coming from business category and among them the meeting has been the top purpose for the trips and in personal the moving is the top one we can also see the distribution of the miles by category we see that uh, the miles traveled is comparatively more for business category compared to personal category we can see that median uh, is 6.1 for business and it is 4.2 for personal uh, let us go a little more forward and get the top 10 frequent start locations so and when we plot the same we see that carry is having the highest frequency of 201 and the 10th one goes with west park palace place west park place which is having a frequency of 17 and we also see that there are 146 locations that is start locations which are unknown which are on the second place let us also get the top 10 frequent stop locations uh, try to extract the months from column start date and see with respect to months when we plot the month wise trips we see that the december month being the top month where the count of trips is the highest with 146 and september being the month with the least number of trips of 34 let us also see the distribution of miles by plotting the histogram when we plot that we see that uh, the miles uh, plot is skewed and uh, only 50 miles is the thing that most of the people are traveling and this after 50 miles it's very uh, rare to find people traveling above that miles we can also uh, do range wise plotting of the miles so that's what i am doing here so i am creating a dictionary which will make different ranges of the miles when we plot the same we see that there are more people or more number of trips in 0 to 10 miles range and less number of trips in 40 to 50 miles range and uh, we see that above 50 miles we have 28 so basically more number of people are traveling very less distance and uh, as the distance increases there are very few people traveling that many miles when we plot the scatter plot of starting versus ending miles we see that uh, this is the scatter plot and we can observe like from which place to which place how many uh, how much distance they are traveling and all we can see the purpose and the trips so we see that uh, miles having the highest portion uh, no, no meetings having the highest portion of 28.5 percent of out of all trips the second goes with a meal or entertain and third is errand or supplies and the top last four uh, like moving airport travel charity and commute are least like they don't 
uh, have more trips in our data set. Now we see that uh, we have NA values in the start and uh, end date because of coercion there is something in the column which are not able to convert to date time so we are going to drop those columns having NA values for further analysis after doing that when we plot the trips by hour we see that the 13 hour is having the highest number of trips of 55 and we see that uh, the plot is very much uh, high towards the uh, right side it means that uh, 13 14 and 15 hours are having more number of trips we can see uh, the cleaned data frame start date end date category start stop miles purpose and month we can also plot the start date and miles scatter plot and we see that uh, this is the trend that's going so there are few uh, high miles traveled in different times of the dates and we can also try to see how many daytime rights are there and how many nighttime rights are there so I am taking 18 as the border and I am trying to make a new column date or night in the df clean data frame. When we see the day or night trips we see that the day trips are more like 448 and night trips are, are, are night rights are less with 204. We can see how many trips are there in each different day of the week. When we plot the same we see that Friday being the day which have highest frequency of 125 more number of trips are there and Saturday being having the least number of trips which is 83. We can also uh, plot the count plot of day with respect to category. So we see that uh, we have already seen so uh, Friday is having highest and the monday is having the least and most of the personal uh, trips are on sunday and monday there is nothing in the other days we can do a lot of eda but uh, this eda should help you to start with uh, doing the proper eda on uber drivers EDA data set and you can uh, once you start building the model there are so many things that you can take into consideration to uh, uh, select the columns or delete the columns or make new columns out of this data set so thank you thanks for being with me till now guys project pro is a curated library of verified solved end-to-end -end project solutions in data science machine learning and big data all the projects here are created by top industry experts from top global tech companies here you will get end-to-end -end project solutions, guided videos, reusable codes and 24 by 7 customer support. You can also get access to 3000 plus code receipts which are absolutely free and buy the subscription plan to get access to 250 plus solid projects. Please check out Project Pro website to know more and subscribe to the Project Pro YouTube channel now. Thank you.